Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick package opening. I haven't done one in a little while. What I have here is going to be a package from Legal Lockpicker, and I look forward to getting that open. So let's open this up and we can see what's inside. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Alright, so the very first thing that we have in this cool package is going to be a Master Lock Padlock, which is the Pro Series. When we open up the box, there's the shackle, there's the cylinder. So we have a taken apart Master Lock 7050, and now we have a another master lock and it looks like it has a plastic outer shell and we are going to be with the good old master lock 410 lockout tag out and it's orange and I don't know if I have an orange one so that's going to be a really cool addition and that's the bidding right here a nice legal lock picker sticker and we have one of these emergency lock pick sets that you can break away. This one says it's by this company right on the bottom here. So we got two of those. Then we have Pink's emergency pick set. Now if you want to see any of these, I recommend you check out Legal Lock Picker's channel and he did a really great review series on them if you want to get some great information. So that is this set right here. She'll be pretty cool to play with. Oh, look at this one. We got one in a little case. So made by Mako. That's actually pretty cool. Looks like that's actually pretty useful for several features, telling you exactly what everything is. That's pretty cool. Thank you for that. And now, moving on to why Legal Lock Picker initially sent something out to me. I messaged him and just seeing how everything was going, and he asked me if there's anything in particular I would want. And I just mentioned that I wouldn't mind having a 7000B cylinder. Um, I cut a lot of keys for those, and I thought that it would be cool to have a cylinder that I could be able to use to test the key. I did have one of those cylinders, um, but the screw was stripped in the padlock and was kind of annoying to get out. But you can see this one here has 180'd, so that will take a little bit of work to fix. Alright, so I just wanted to show you, I just quickly got this cylinder to turn again. I just stuck this tension wrench right here down the back and pushed down all the driver pins. So I'm just going to take this one apart quickly just so we can see what's going on here. But, yeah, so I think what happened is, is he sent this to me in the bitted position, picked position, so that it would be easy for me to play with, and it must have 180'd. We have this right here. I'm going to lock it up. See if the key works. No, it does not. That's fine. We can get it open. And let's see what the last one is. I look forward to putting the master lock back together. And I want to say thank you for sending these my way. All right, so let's do this. Let's measure the root cuts and see what the bidding to our key is going to be. And let's just pin this lock back up quickly. Getting about 0 0.19, 0 0.192, which is telling me it's going to be a master lock six cut here. Now, number two, 0.22 is going to be about a four cut. 0.287, so that's going to be right around a zero. About 
So that's going to be about a number 2, 0.259. Which is going to be number two again. About point two two nine. See if I can get that a little bit better. Two two four. And that's going to be about a four cut. All right. So we were able to get that decoded. Six. Looks nice and flat going across. Let's. Insert our key. Let me find our sir clip. Pop that on a little bit better. And just like that, the lock is working pretty well. All right, so let's try to put our Master Lock Pro Series 7050 back together. It's got the actuator kind of free floating. And because of that, the ball bearings have dropped out. The shackle has come off. But the first thing I believe we need to do is get the locking nut out, and this is going to be a 7 64ths. Uh, I do not take these locks apart to this degree very often, so this is probably not going to go super smoothly. But I do remember the basic steps, so hopefully we'll be able to do it together right now. So I'm just loosening up the nut. And then we're going to take the front face plate out and then just take everything off. And now the lock is completely empty. So the next thing you want to do is just put your shackle in and it's only going to really fit one way. Okay. And then we want to have the actuator out because what we want to do is we want to take our two ball bearings, which I have over here. Then we're going to drop them in. Now, if you have some grease, you can use that to make them a little bit less movable. I don't have any of that, so I'm just going to work with it. Just got to scoot one over to the left and the other one over to the right and just try to hold it in place. So it's a little bit difficult at times, but certainly very doable. Then you're going to want to take your actuator, and it's going to be, I believe, this pointy bit on the top here. And we're just going to drop that right down. And we can push it in. Now, the next thing I want to do is insert my lock cylinder. And I'm going to want to make sure my cylinder is going to sit all the way in the lock. So what I like to do is put my key in, just kind of maneuver it, make sure it's going to work, it's going to open the shackle. And now my cylinder is nice and secure in there. And then we're going to see that we're going to be able to have our lock all set. So I'm going to drop that cylinder in one more time. I'm going to put the front face plate on. And just for me, it's going to be a little bit easier just to hold the front plate over it, turn, pop open the shackle, remove the key, and then secure the front face plate. So something isn't moving super easily here. Okay, now it is. So that is loosened up. We're going to put our tanning nut right here. Going to put some pressure on that to hold the nut and the front face plate on. We're going to take our screw. And then we're going to drop that right down the hole there. So we have this nice and tight. We have the front face plate on. We're able to rekey the cylinder. I'm going to insert the key, open it, and that's a working Master Lock Pro Series 7050. Now, I just want to say thank you to Legal Lock Picker for this really cool package. If anyone's interested in seeing me do a video on taking this lock apart and reassembling it all in one go in a little bit more of a thought out way, I'd be really interested to hear that. And I just want to say thank you to everyone for checking this out. Now, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave those in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out. I hope you all have a great day. And check out Legal Lock Picker. And thank you for this great package.